Um, hey, Eric. So, how did you like my room? <laughs> Isn't it splendid? Tell me, tell me, how did you like it? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah. Uh, such an amazing room. Great handiwork. I'm glad you feel this way. Yeah. It's time for us to part ways. Hold my hands and close your eyes. I shall lead you out. Hold my hand and close your eyes. Is this really the way out? Is it safe to follow him? Wait. Are you saying there are more rooms in here? There's the dressing room uh, you saw and the storage, among others. <laughs> There's also a room full of old furniture that my poor mother left behind. Your mother? Did you live with your mom down here? Eric, Eric, like you should... What, did you never leave? Would you show me those rooms? Why? Never be curious about anything I choose to conceal from you. But you didn't conceal it. You just told us the rooms. Didn't you? Like he told us. Those are the rooms that exist. And she just asked, is it okay? What? Never. Not a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. I understand, Eric. I apologize. <laughs> Close your eyes. Did you not want to get out? Ah! Okay. Wait. This room. I endured this for five days. Damn. Ah! Oh, heavens. <laughs> oh, great heavens. <laughs> There's a passage leading to this room. Go through this door and you'll find yourself above ground. So we saw on uh, in Eric's room there was on the right side there was a wall and we walked through there. And on the left side we also saw there was something. So you could probably walk through there and find other rooms I guess. Step back. Hoo ya! Like where does the mirror go? F Though is it going down or left or right or does it just whoosh, 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 vanish? Just past this room. And I'm free again. Now what happens that she's stuck? Wait. Why is the music so scary? Why is he letting me go so easily? What if everything is a lie? What if he changes his mind? I trust that you'll often return back underground to visit poor Eric. Yes. And sometimes when you feel uncontrollably sleepy. Remember that I'm with you. Oh my god. Uncontrollably sleepy? He must be talking about the fragrance. The fragrance. That means from now on whenever he wants. Uh. I must flee. I can't be taken here again. If I return to the opera house in this way, I'll never be able to trust anyone there. <laughs> At times you may not be able to comply to my invitation. For whatever reason. However, if you stay, if you stray from the opera house, even one step, you shall never know at what time. Someone screamed there and it was very scary. <laughs> what time and whose skull the chandelier will crush? Yo! Bro! Also, he's just one man. Can he not, can she just, bleh, can she not tell people about this and then we all go... I mean, he knows his way around here, down here, way better than anyone else. But still, I'm like, what is he going to do? Like, I would flee, probably. I would be like, okay, fuck that. I'll take Raoul and run away from France. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's 50 years old. How much longer can he live, right? And that would be devastating burden to carry. Ah, devastating burden, yeah. You think I will feel guilty if other people die? He's right, but still, how does he know? And you will carry it for all eternity. No! What did he just... Harassing me isn't enough. And now the people I love. Such heinous incidents, they must come to an end. To protect the ones I love, I must see beneath his mask. But what? What is happening? Why am I... What? <laughs> no, you don't. The door to the surface is open. If I unmask him and then just run... What? 
What? Why? Why would she? What? No! <laughs> Wait. Why would she? Ha what? Because she's. Oh, because she thinks he's someone she knows? Like someone from upstairs? She thinks it's someone from upstairs, and if she knows who it is, she can make sure that whatever. But. Girl! I don't know about this. Seems like... I mean, we know that this is not going to end well because she will probably unmask him and then he's like, ah, you will stay here now, bitch, because you broke the one rule. Which is like, how is that even possible? The one single rule. How are people incapable of not breaking one single rule every time in these stories? Like, we know that she won't make it upstairs because we've been waiting with Raoul for two weeks at this point. 15 days. So... Oh. My. God. <laughs> I don't wanna. Okay. Eric. <laughs> yes, my love. Are you ready? It's Eric. I. Ask. Christine. Oh, fuck. Tap. Oh, wow. He's ugly. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! He looks like a bonehead! Wow, he looks actually very fucked up. You know, usually the Phantom of the Opera is kinda handsome. I... I don't mind it. It... you... it's kinda cool? It looks like he has a monocle on the right side. <laughs> He's just blinking with this eye like, um, bitch, what the actual fuck? Dude, this is how Voldemort was supposed to look like. <laughs> it was the hair, okay, the hair got me a bit confused. Yeah, he has such luscious locks going down, but the upper part is destroyed. Is that possible to have that much hair down here, but none at all here? Um, anyways, uh, you're beautiful, man. I'm sorry that I reacted that way. That was very rude. I'm very sorry. Um, I mean, but you also have a terrible personality. You're a terrible person, so you deserve it, kind of. I'm sorry. You probably went through a lot of shit in your life. I apologize, but still, you're, you're, you're a bad person. I'm sorry. You're, but still, like. It was not correct of me to react this way. <laughs> it's like, imagine I walk around the street and someone reacts like that to me. I would be so hurt. I'm very much sorry. Anyways. Ah! Hey, he looks fine here. Yeah, now that I look at it, you know, I'm like, yeah, I needed a minute to get used to this. His smile is kind of nice. He looks kind of cute. I mean, he's a terrible person. I wouldn't date him or something like, ugh, but... You know, it's not a bad. It's kind of like cool makeup for Halloween. That's a cool design right there. I like it. But yeah, normally the Phantom is... It's handsome, right? He always has a mask that is only covering like half his face or something. And it's only like half of his side... Uh, one side is destroyed. He doesn't seem to eat much because look at the sunken in cheeks. Dude, you should eat more. You just look very bright. Like, why it because of this puffy coat? I'm sorry, we're just continuing. <laughs> Did she just run against the, the door frame? She's like, put your forehead hurts. Christine. Ah, oh, yes, this is the very truth you so wanted to see. He looks so happy. I can't tell if he's upset about it. <laughs> This face is my life, my pain, and my own personal hell. Is that why the mirror's destroyed? Why are you not just hanging it down? <sighs> ah! Were you so curious as to whom it was that loves you so dearly? I thought it said deathly, but... Do not look away! I, I don't, I'm not. You look fine, man. Look at my face. It is I, Eric, looking back. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Eric, please forgive me. It's too late. I don't need your apology. 
A long time ago, I once thought that I had to hide this face in order to be loved. From whom? But I was wrong! Any woman that sees my face becomes mine. Because I kill them and then they can't belong to anyone else. Is that the story? Oh. From the moment they see it, my face will consume their thoughts. It's like a rapist that's like, you. they will never forget me because they will always, I will always be a part of their life. I will consume their life. And I'm just like, you dickheads. <laughs> like, why? Why do you want that though? Wouldn't you want to have someone who's like, I love you and I like to look at your face and... I mean, he's mentally ill, so what the fuck am I saying? But... Da -da -da -da! I mean, Eric, I think there are more healthy ways to get to a lady's heart. We like food. Women like to eat. I mean, you can start from there. And if they do not give themselves over to love only me, they shall still remain feathered by my side even in death. How many women did he eat? <laughs> I am Don Juan Triumphant! Ha ha ha! Um... Mm. Are you wondering if this face too is but a mask? What are you? Oh god. Oh what the... Oh, let go of me! No! Feel my face! Feel it with your own hands! Eeeh! Ah! No! Ah! Ah! Feel it death for yourself. The sound effects, you they were all <laughs> like why are you making me touch your feet? Ah! ah feel my dead flesh glut your soul on my cursed ugliness <laughs> Okay Whoa I'm so sorry and I'm scared afraid of you Ah, I frighten you, do I? Now that I'm made of death from head to toe and that this corpse that loves you, adores you, will never, never leave you. Please, stop, please. As long as you thought me handsome, you would have continued to love me. No, 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 not really, man. Answer me, Christine. How do you like this face? I'm a very good looking fellow. Eh? Hey. hey. Look, you want to see. See! Yeah, your eyes, you frighten me. It's it's your attitude, bro. I'm sure, like, you know, like I said before, I was scared for like a minute or a second because it, it caught me a bit off guard. I didn't expect you to look like this. But then I calmed down and was like, you know, it's fine. I wouldn't mind looking at a face like this the entire time. Your personality is what's important. You know, it's like Deadpool. You don't really give a shit. Like how they look. It's like, yeah, I mean... You don't, you're probably not up to our standards, beauty standards, but it's, it's your attitude, dude. You're fucked up. That's the problem. I wouldn't want that. Please, do not look at me that way. Please, forgive me. What nonsense are you saying? Tell me you find my face monstrous. Tell me that my cursed ugliness makes you wish you went blind. But that's not true. If you can't say it, then you will shut your mouth. Then instead feel my face, feel the death tear into your bare hands. Eric, please. Oh god. Awa. Love me, Christine! If you do not love me, you cannot leave me even in death. Like that woman! Your mom? That woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, humans are such inquisitive and untrustworthy beings. I thought I could live the life of a normal human if I hit my face. I trusted you and you ripped my soul apart. So did he, he hit his face and he fell in love with someone and they loved them. But then he was like, I'm going to show my, her my face because I love her and she deserves to know. And then she was like, ah, uh -uh. and that traumatized him. And ever since then, he's like, okay, I'm just going to be crazy. Like the typical story of shit like this. I trusted you, Christine. I trusted you. Ah. But, ah. My father never looked straight at me. Like, were you born that way? Or how do you breathe, bro? You don't have a nose. 
My mother threw a mask at me, telling me to cover up my face. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That sucks. If in the outside world nothing has changed, everyone praised my talents but treated me like a monster when they saw my face. You know, he looks very cool. Like I said before, people will be surprised at first, of course, and there will be always people who are dickheads about it. But, you know... It's kind of cool. Imagine you have a composer who looks like this, a very famous one. I wouldn't care. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't fuck that face, but... <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's definitely more difficult for a, someone who looks like this to find love and whatnot, but it's not impossible. Eh, eh. But he's, like I said, he's crazy, so... He's, he's evil. We don't, we don't stand that. Only when hidden behind the mask, I was able to. <laughs> uh, now you see. This is my own personal hell. My pain. And my life. I feel bad for him. Mwah! A little smoochy. Oh, he pushed us back in. Ooh! Life, pain, hell. Reveal the identity of the horrifying man. Ooh, that was scary! But... Ooh... Br ooh... <clears throat> We're very close... To... We finally revealed to the Phantomies! And the music man. Rocket Man! But in our case, it's the Music Man! Christine is terrified of Eric. Christine suspects that Eric is someone she knows from the Opera House. Christine spends five long and painful days with Eric. Christine decides to see who's behind Eric's mask in an effort to protect her loved ones. Christine unmasks Eric and faces Eric's hidden truth. Good. <laughs> Eric! Ah, the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, he looks. <laughs> just now he jumped there in a little chibi. It looks ridiculous. Eric warns Christine to never ever touch his mask. Right before Eric lets Christine out, he shows her his room. Eric forces Christine to return by threatening to take others' lives if she did not. Okay. Eric intends to kidnap Christine whenever he wishes, even after he lets her out. Ugh. Eric is infuriated as Christine unmasks him. Eric repeatedly asks Christine how ugly she thinks he is. I think he wants her to say, yes, you're fucking ugly and disgusting, so that he has a reason to kill her or to, you know, do bad things. Like that he can say, ah, see, I knew it. I proved that people hate me. Self-fulfilling prophecy style shit.